hello everyone welcome to the new video on cloud platform integration so the ultimate aim of this video is to tell you about like how log log configuration works in cpi so in this video what we will do that we will create another integration flow using a mail adapter like uh, there is one mail adapter in the cpi using which you can uh, get the logs of uh, error or any notification you want through the mail server and uh, you can check your mail okay and uh, after that uh, after creating the integration flow we will see that uh, how to check the logs uh, based on uh, these levels like none in for debug dress okay so let's uh, get started with the creation of integration flow so once again i will uh, log into my account So here I am in my browser and now I will open my account. So you can again see like how you can open the integration shoot so that it gets uh, featured in your mind. So after uh, logging in, I have to go to my sub account and after that I will click on the instances in subscription like uh, it is taking some more time to log in sap btp cockpit is loading okay you can either allow or deny or you can directly uh, just uh, cut it and after that i have to go to my trial account and in this trial account i will go to my sub account and uh, in the sub account i have to go to instances and in subscription so here it here it is or from here also i could go and in the instances and subscription i have to go to the integration suit so in the integration suit you can see i have to uh, log in uh, and that process is automatically finished because i have already logged in in btp uh, cockpit so using that it redirects us to the website directly and after that we are going to design develop and operate integration scenario and uh, in this what i will do that we have we have already created one package and inside that package we will create uh, another artifact uh, and that is actually integration flow so inside the design i have came under design and inside that i already have a test package and inside that i have uh, already created one uh, test artifact and that is actually integration flow so to create another what i have to do that i have to uh, again put it in the edit mode but what i will do that i will just uh, open this uh, tab in a new duplicate this tab i will duplicate this tab because i want to show you that how you can reuse the uh, things which we have uh, used in this uh, test type flow so this uh, test uh, i flow i will click in another tab because here we are going to use the concept of reusability so that you can get uh, like how uh, you can make your life easier uh, in developing the uh, integration flow and here i will put it in the edit mode and in the edit mode what i will do that i will uh, add one more integration flow and that integration flow i will name as test i flow 2 test underscore i flow underscore 2 okay so this is my second uh, test type flow and after that i am clicking on ok and it is created so initially you can see the version here is 1.0.0 and after that when i will create it uh, if i will click it uh, on the save as a version then only it will uh, go as a version otherwise it will be as a draft only so let's start so in the test i flow 2 what what we have we are going to do that uh, here also we have uh, like the test i flow 1 this is the test i flow 1 you can see, see here so here also we will use the same thing but what I, we are going to do that we are going to add one uh, mail adapter like after the end of all process one mail mail receiver uh, is going to be configured and uh, using that uh, mail receiver uh, you can send the log of uh, like error data if any anything error happens or whatever the process happens here 
uh whatever the process will happen like if the process will you can not the uh, error because we are not going to uh, add any exceptions of process uh, here what will happen that whatever the process will happen that will be uh, sent to your email okay so let's get started so the concept of reusability here is what we are going to do that we will uh, copy the whole thing okay so for that what i will do that i will come here and i'm going to put it in the edit mode and uh, after that what we can do that we can just uh, expand this so i'm going to expand the integration process and uh, now we don't have any sender here we have a timer initiated process here so i'm going to delete the sender i have deleted the sender and how you can copy like i have already told you you can copy the things so for copying the things what you can do that you can put it in the edit mode and uh, just click on the control button and uh, select this content modifier and uh, after clicking the control button you have to uh, press the control button and you can see how i am selecting the things i am selecting the things here okay so i have copied all the, i have selected all the things i just have to click on the copy okay here you can see that i have copied it and what i will do that here i will just click on the integration sub process integration process and after that i will paste it you can see how easy it is to copy and paste okay but what i have to do that i have to delete this the, the start to end connection i have to delete and uh, after that i will put it as a start and end okay but here you can see that the naming uh, has came as copy so you want if you want you can remove that also or if you want you can keep that also and i will tell you the one disadvantage of copying things is like uh, inside the content modifier everything would be copied you can see here inside the content modifier we are sending uh, whatever the message body we are sending that is copied okay so whatever you will keep in the content modifier that will be copied that not a problem but if you are going to copy any groovy script you can see that the groovy script file does not exist in the bundle okay so the groovy script won't be copied so for that what you can do that you can just create the groovy script i will click on the create button and i will go to here and i will just copy the groovy script okay i can copy it from my uh, local also I, I have shown you like i have kept it in uh, my system but i will copy it from here so that it, it does not take our oh, controls sorry okay i have copied it and here i will paste it it is showing that paste not allowed but okay yeah uh and i will click on okay i have already explained this query script that what it does it, it actually creates a log okay and after that the receiver i will paste here and i am going to connect this receiver via odata adapter okay so when i will connect this it will ask for the adapter so here i am going to use odata adapter and in the odata adapter i am using version 2 and to configure the odata i need the uh, url okay so the url we can copy from uh, this so uh, our old iflow and in the test connection i am going to copy the url because everything all the configuration else are same here but here we are just going to use the mail adapter so for that i am going to put the connection and i will give the url so you can see i have provided the url and the processing what we will do that we will uh, select the resource path so as we have already explained uh, you also know that so the operation is actually a get operation and the entity we have to select that and that is the product okay and in the uh, fields if you want you can select all the fields yeah i'm going to select all the fields and after that in the step three you have to uh select the fields okay so that is actually the product id and product id should be equal to this is actually writing like a query okay okay let me show you how you can get the query also so here you can see that the the product id the filter we are going to add the and the in the filter we are going to add like product id equals to this is the header okay this header we have added okay i will copy it and i will directly paste it i don't because i don't want to do much work 
I'm a very lazy person. I will copy it and paste it. And I'm going to finish it. Here you can see that the query has been generated. I am not going to do anything. Okay. And I will, what I will do that, I will save it. I will save it. Now, uh, the things which is remaining is, uh, here you can see that it, it is showing that it, it doesn't have any uh, start. Okay. So, because we have a timer initiated uh, starting here. So, I will search for the timer. Okay. My keyboard is not supporting me. Okay. I have added a timer here. And this timer initiated process will start uh, instantly when we will deploy this uh, indication flow and after that you have to put it uh, on the end also so after end what is our aim is like we are going to add one more receiver and that receiver will actually uh, receive the mails like whatever the process will happen that it will receive okay so here it will ask for the adapter <laughs> So adapter you can select here you can see there is a mail adapter here okay so for the configuration of the mail adapter you can see here we have to give the connection detail like the address and uh, for the processing like uh, from which uh, uh, email id you want to send it and to which email id you want to send it okay and in the security there is a non security we are adding right now but and in the mail body also you can define like what what you want to define in the mail body so here uh, for using the mail adapter we have to do some kind of configuration in our tenant okay so for that what we will do uh, i will do that i will just save it and i will show you like how you can configure this mail adapter so because this uh, test iflow uh, we have uh, used the things which were here so for now i am going to close it i will save it as it is and i will show you like how you can uh, add the mail adapters so to configure the mail server in your account what you have to do that you have to go to the uh, monitoring section and in the monitoring section uh, you can first test the connectivity okay so you have to get the keys uh, of the your uh, mail server like if you are using yahoo mail if you are using uh, gmail so for that the smtp server key you have to get and after that you have to uh, like uh, upload that key right so for that what you have to do that you have to go to manage security uh, and inside the manage security you have to click on the connectivity test so first of all uh, what you have to do that in the connectivity test you have to select the okay it is not opening okay yeah it opened so you have to go to the SMTP because uh, SMTP is secure mail transfer protocol. Okay, secure mail or message transfer protocol. So the host you have to give it like as uh, uh, SMTP. Like I am going to use uh, Gmail, so I will give uh, Gmail SMTP. And if you if you are not sure like uh, what what is the SMTP uh, domain of uh, Gmail, so you can uh, search it as Gmail SMTP. Okay, and it will give you the you can see here uh, the okay uh, yeah smtp.gmail.com and it works actually on uh, 587 and 465 also okay so i will select it as it is and i'll paste it here you can uh, port you can anything take uh, 465 or uh, 587 so i will take 465 uh, and after that uh, I will keep it as uh, none authentication. I will keep it as none and uh, I will just send it. Okay. So, okay, it is throwing error. I'm going to buy a valid server certificate required. Okay. Yeah. So, here I've got you have to just uncheck that valid server certificate required, and here you will get the keys. That key you have to actually upload in your key store. So, I'm going to uh, download this, this key and this keys has been actually downloaded and uh, i will going to extract extract these keys so it would be here in the downloads okay yeah i'm going to extract it yeah you can see these keys i have got and what i will do that i have to upload this key in the key store of my cpi trend so for that 
but we have to do that we have to again go to the monitoring section and in the monitoring section what you can do that uh, you can go to the key store so you can search like where the key store is you can see in the managed security we are getting the key store so you when you will click on the key store it will open and after that you can see there there is a add uh, you can see here it's a add button so you have to add the certificates so you can directly browse the certificate and one by one i will upload all like in the download okay the first one i'm going to select i'll keep the name as it is and it will get added and uh, after that you can see could not establish us so these are just warning you just have to confirm it and uh, you can see here this keys has been added and you can create also but here i have already created so i will just select and in the browse i'm going to add the second key after that the same it you have to just confirm and uh, in the certificates again the third key you have to upload and that you are all set and one more thing you have to do that you have to add the uh, credentials in your cpi tenant so for that what do you have to do that here again we'll go to the manage security and in the security material we have to create actually user credentials okay so for the user credentials uh, the name of the credential you have to give so i, I will give it as my credential okay my credential i'll give it as and description i'm not going to provide anything user okay so i will give my email id amish578 at the rate gmail.com and uh, after that the password so you might be wondering what kind of password it is so I i'm going to tell you this is not actually your email password this is actually the app password so how to configure the app password in uh, gmail that you have to search on the google and after that you have to get the password so that i am leaving uh, upon you i hope you will uh, just do it and uh, because i have already done this i'm not going to waste your time you will get it get those information from the google and uh, you can create your app, pass uh, app password and paste it here so i will directly paste my app password here so i have uh, put my app password and now i'm going to deploy this uh, credential so no i am not going to save it and you can see the user credential has been deployed after that uh, our smtp server has been set uh, for the use but if we have to do that we have just go to our uh, iflow and here you can see it is asking for the address so address again uh, the address actually is smtp server of the gmail so here this one is the uh, smtp gmail server and uh, after that uh, you have to so, uh, write the port name also so after double colon i am going to write 465 port okay so this is actually the uh, port i am going to use and here that i will select that smtps and credential name uh, which it will use is that i have recently created that is actually my credentials not credentials it is only credential uh, okay my credential i have uh, is integrated and the processing what it will do that it will send a uh, mail from one mail to another so i am going to okay and uh, the mail which it will send uh, to my another mail uh, that is actually i am going to type okay and if you want to uh, send carbon copy to anyone that also you can uh, send and you can also include a uh, subject so i am going to add subject as cpi iflow details uh i should be uh sorry i should be in small cpi iflow details i have put it as the mail and uh, if you put a uh, mail body as dollar uh in dot body so that will actually send that whatever will be the log there that that it will send okay so that's we are all set i think and i'm going to save it and uh let me deploy it okay so here we can see that we are not getting any error i am going to deploy it so before deploying what i will do that i will open my uh, gmail so let me check that where i have uh, okay my gmail is so i will open my gmail so get taken email or not and to that we have to see the lock 
configurations also so first of all okay this one you can see that this is my gmail that is amish kumar nine double one at the gmail dot com that uh, that will receive the mail and this will send the mail so let's uh, check it where it is yeah here and uh, i'm going to deploy it as soon as i will deploy it it will get started let me deploy it do you want to deploy it yes yeah i want to deploy it okay test i flow to is regard for deployment okay you can see here uh, successfully deployed also and let us go to the monitoring section whether it has failed or it has successfully computed that we have to check actually okay so here we can check that whether it has failed or it has okay it is starting okay it is still starting okay it has started you can see uh, the flow is successfully deployed so iflow has been deployed but the message has been sent or not okay i think it has failed because you can see in the past one hour we have one failed message and username and password not accepted okay i think i have made some mistake uh, in the username and password for the mail server so i have to check that whether uh, i have done any mistake or not okay okay i checked my password i had um, made mistake in my password that's why it was throwing error so i'm going to deploy it again and after that we will again deploy our integration flow i hope this time it will uh, not throw any error so let us keep it as uh, in the monitoring section so here uh, i'm going to keep it in the manage message processing uh, so that uh, we can check that whether it it is deployed successfully or not so you can see the last one we deployed is failed so i'm going to deploy it again so as soon as i will deploy it it will start uh, the message processing it, it doesn't need any external trigger to get uh, deployed i've deployed it it has been in the process and when it will deployed yeah you can see uh, we are getting a message test i flow to successfully deployed so let's check that whether this time it is okay you can see here it has been completed i'm going to click on it so because it was on the info level uh, so it will uh, just uh, attach the current payload and let me show you that whether we are getting any mail or not you can see here from amish 578 i have got one mail and in the mail uh, we have just kept a dollar dot in body so because whatever we have logged that is only getting transferred let me show you so this is our log if i'm going to open it the log and the mail which i have got that would be identical okay it is opening it is taking some time no problem so this that should contain only these things and uh, i'm sure the only thing these things would be there you can see here the only these things are there okay so this is how you can use a mail adapter in your uh, integration flow but now coming to the message monitoring so you have seen the log uh, in the uh, info info level only but now i can show you like how you can check that at the step by step like uh, which step is taking place after which step so for that we have to put uh, this uh, iflow in the trace mode and the trace mode is actually will be uh, there in only for 10 minutes so it will show us also you can see here are you sure you want to change uh, the log level from info to trace yeah i want to change it so you can see here the log level trace expire like uh, it is expiring it is going to expire 10 minutes from now okay and after that the trace will automatically convert it into info okay it will and if i want uh, to again make it into trace i have to come back and i have to put it as trace this is happening because the cpi has a um, actually some memory limitations so because of that they are keeping it like that so again i'm to, i'm going to deploy it the same thing okay it is uh, triggered for deployment and uh, once it is deployed we can check the log also so let me show you so it would be a starting right now okay yeah it is starting so when we will enter here in the manage messages uh, monitor message processing here you can see uh, it it is deployed so here we can check the trace okay so if you want to check uh, like for the more understanding in the initial level you should check the trace so i am going to open the trace okay we have to wait here and you can see here uh, like how things are taking place like uh, the first event is a start event in the start event we will get nothing okay it is just this is the start event 
and after that the content modifier so in the content modifier you can see like uh, if you want to see the message uh, so here it will show the message of the last uh, actually it here it will show uh, the message of the message content of the last event so in the last event we we didn't had any uh, payload so that's why it is not showing we didn't had any header also uh, so okay coming back to the third content like third step so this is actually the third step that is content modifier 2 this is the third step here we will get the uh, message content uh, or log content of second step okay so you, let me show you the payload so the payload uh, here is in this this one uh, and uh, the header actually we can see here so header we have sent but it, it has uh, encrypted it okay and in in the third segment it is all data processing so here we will get uh, like uh, we are sending only the headers and uh, okay it has no payload you can see it has no payload i think it should have some payload but because of some glitch it is showing that it has no payload uh, just wait just wait okay okay if it has no payload then i think in the groovy script Mm, the groovy script it has actually fetched the data and it has uh, logged it and this is one is the last that is actually the end event and after the end event we have uh, the mail uh, segment in the mail segment we are sending the mail so after that in the mail has been actually sent in less than three millisecond okay so this is how you can check the trace of your uh, integration flow and uh, if you want to check the if you if you are getting any error so that error you can check in the debug mode so debug mode is there will be i think for uh, 24 hour or one hour i'm not sure let us check okay so if i'm going to put it on the debug mode change yeah so you can see here the debug mode will be there uh debug expire at pause seven yeah it it, it 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 will be there for the 24 hours yeah so if you are getting any error you, you want to debug it you can debug it also so this is how you can check the log and uh, this is all about the log configuration and we have also seen that how you can use the mail servers or mail adapter in our integration flow so that's it for this video and in our next video we will see that how we can uh, trigger the integration flow uh, by externally uh, triggering it so for that uh, you should have a postman in your system so let's meet in the next video. We'll see. Thank you.